Hi, this is JP from Not A Lots Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough episode of the Dark Matter campaign, which is a fan-made campaign for Arkham Horror the Card Game. We are continuing our playthroughs with Diana Stanley, the uh, renowned cultist, and uh, last time we managed to get 8 experience from the Electric Nightmare scenario. So first, let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see what upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and we had 8 experience to upgrade the deck with. So I decided to go a different route than I usually do. I didn't upgrade one copy of the Cyclopean Hammer because I want to try something else and keep the focus on the Dragon Pole. So instead I removed two dodge level zeros and two copies of Tetsuo Mori. Um, Tetsuo Mori uh, doesn't have that much to do in this deck except to fetch the Dragon Pole. So instead I added two level 2 copies of dodge. This lets me have an ability to deal a damage if an enemy tries to hit me. And it costs zero, so it helps with the economy of the deck. Also, instead of Tetsuo, I added two copies of Guard Dog level 2. So, this also can help me deal damage to enemies when they attack me. So, that is uh, actually really, really good for this deck. So, I have good ways to defeat enemies while I am investigating. So, that is the 8th experience spent to this upgrade for Diana. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, we are starting the uh, third scenario of the campaign. Uh, before I go more into the uh, scenario we are playing, The Lost Quantum, I want to read the story text we Led to the uh, we had before this, so I am not uh, reading all of it. Um, basically, I'm reading the interlude that uh, only by skimming through it. It's a quite long one, so it would take a, a considerable time to read through it. But basically, uh, because we were uh, transported uh, to the virtual dreamlands by Maja. Uh, uh, we wake up, we have a stinging headache, and Maja apologizes for abruptly pulling us into the dreamlands. And after that, uh, Maja explains that the crew of the Tatter Demalion were cultists worshipping Haster, one of the ancient ones, uh, and uh, Earth is basically uh, Haster's domain. Uh, of course, we are not on Earth, but uh, the cultists that were aboard this spaceship, so we are one of those cultists, but uh, we have uh, our previous mind from back on Earth transport, uh, um, transferred into one of the cultists' head. <laughs> so uh, we embody a cultist body and uh, then uh, we are still ourselves. Uh, the cultists managed to um, or were trying to wake up Haster's daughter uh, Tasilda. So uh, we are trying to find out what happened. And we are given a choice to uh, see a play performed. But uh, we wanted to skip that because uh, it is not good to see the uh, King in Yellow play in action. So uh, we ha have uh, arrived in the interlude. Uh, one mission briefings, uh, the search for fragment part. So we are given a choice of three scenarios to play in whatever order we wish. And I decided to go in the order of uh, A, B and then C. So the A scenario is scenario 3A, Lost Quantum. So I'll read the trace one. Uh, the last destination of the Tattered Amalian before traveling to Fragment was a research laboratory on a stray asteroid named Elberus. This specific facility was built to study and experiment with the materials 
that exhibit quantum-like behavior. You aren't sure what the cultists were hoping to achieve there, but perhaps these scientists can steer you in the right direction. So basically we are trying to find a um, fragment which is an stray asteroid which has been rumored to uh, case uh, Tasilda's tomb uh, and the cultists are trying to wake up Tasilda so we are trying to figure out where fragment is in space and get there so uh, let's read the scenario uh, 3a lost quantum uh, intro okay uh, so uh, lost quantum when the world ended, the various scientists and mining communities of different nationalities that lie in the asteroid belt between the planets Mars and Jupiter had formed a pact, a promise to ensure the survival of mankind. The United Colonial Coalition is composed of 20 colonies varying widely in size, population and purpose. Some colonies exist solely for mining, while others focus on scientific research or are engineering centers. These usually have fewer than 200 individuals living within them. Other asteroids serve as population centers containing vast hyperphonic farms, universities and recreational areas. These can be home to more than a thousand colonists. Uh, when you arrive at, astero at the asteroid, you are absorbed by the Fusia glow of Elbrus. Quantum materials have only recently, recently been discovered, but may hold key properties that could be used to engineer devices that would have been impossible with uh, classical materials. Unfortunately, quantum fields generated by these materials disrupt traditional radio communication, making it impossible for you to hail the scientists on Elbrus. Without further ado, you and your companions board one of the landing crafts and drift towards the asteroid. The purple aurora spreads over the viewport like distant milk, filling the room with an electric tinge. You finally approach vector. Your final approach vector takes you directly over one of the larger craters on the asteroid. The computer calculates the trajectories and commences the final descent onto the rocky surface. It is just then that the short-range radios crackle into man into a man's terrified voice. Abort the landing procedure, now, abort, before, but it is too late. The warning lights begin flashing on and off as the craft spins out of control. You grab onto anything you can, but the vessel increasingly spins and spins until you, your arm flail and darkness prevails. Okay, so... We have some additional rules in this scenario. We have face down encounter cards. So, in this scenario, you may be introduced to place encounter cards face down into your threat area. These cards are considered out of play but may be referred by other scenario cards. When you would draw cards from the encounter deck, if both the encounter deck and discard pile are empty, draw a card from the face down encounter cards in your threat area instead. If there are none in your threat area, you are defeated. Uh, then there's another one clues on and locations in the quantum realm. In this scenario, locations may leave play and re enter play at a later time. When a location leaves play, discard all uh, attached cards and clues on it. When a location enters play, regardless of if this has been in play at the previous time, treat it as if you were just revealed it from the for the first time. As such, a number of clues equal to the location's clue value are placed on that location each time it is revealed from the token pool. Okay, so uh, then we have we have actually three uh, identical agenda one A's, and uh, they are shuffled, so we don't know what resolution comes uh, after they are advanced. So uh, the quantum maelstrom. I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. Richard Feynman. Act, there's an action, scan, search the topmost card in the scanning deck with an icon matching your current location in Royce. If it is a location, put it into play and move to it. Shuffle the scanning deck. And uh, the doom threshold is only true. Then we have Elbrus Station. Quantum field unstable. Evacuate Elbrus Station immediately. The warning states uh, starter, startles you awake. Despite the troubling descent, the lander has coasted into one of the craters with minimum damage. 
It appears most of the asteroid has already been evacuated, but then who stayed behind to send you the warning during your descent? And we need three clues to advance. We only have the landing craft location in play at the start, so it is a free start location with one clue. Uh, there is a uh, fast action place, one of your clues onto this location. Uh, then, while there are two or more clues on this location, it gains action resign. Escape the migraine include inducing asteroid. So we can't even resign before we have two clues on this, and there is only one in play here. We have the scanning deck here, and we have a set aside uh, one card, which I can uh, reveal that is the feaster from afar enemy that comes in the one of the encounter sets that is used in this scenario. Then we have two uh, Erwin Simmons story assets set aside. And that is basically everything. Oh yeah, and uh, because we managed to repair the AI la in last scenario fully, the 100% functionality uh, K2 PS187 uh, lets us uh, choose an investigator and that investigator gets an additional action during their turn which may only be used to activate the scan abilities and limit once per round. After an investigator performs a scan, that investigator may draw one card or gain one resource. So that also helps us. So that is basically everything. Let's see how this goes. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to begin, so I'll draw my opening hand. And we get the virtual access key, deny existence, ward of protection, holy rosary, and guard. Well, I'm ditching these to get uh, maybe a weapon or a spell to investigate. Okay, so terrible secret goes back, so we get the uh, steadfast promise of power, read the signs, holy rosary. We have the guard dog. Okay, so uh, unfortunately we didn't hit a weapon, but hopefully now I remember to use Diana's ability to, uh, when cancelling stuff, to draw a card and gain a resource. Also, I am hoping to use the scanning efficiently so that I can uh, draw. Uh, extra cards if needed. Okay. So, uh, first off, we will play Holy Rosary and the Guard Dock. Then I think I'll just try to investigate and to get this clue off here, I'll use the Promise of Power which adds one curse token to the back, so just adding that. Okay. So, last action, investigate. Uh, seven versus three. Minus two, we'll grab this clue. And now we can do the extra action to scan. So we'll scan and we are searching for the yellow circle, which we already are at that location. So we'll just click this. So we get the Omni Transmitters. It is a two shroud location with one clue. Action add one Doom to the current agenda and test Intellect 2. If you succeed, each investigator at this location adds one tally mark next to their memories. And this is connected. So uh, this is a pretty hard scenario to have a coherent uh, map, so I'm trying to do the best I can. So we used all of our resources. Now I'll uh, decide to draw a card because, well, uh, actually I'm taking a resource because next round we might want to use the read the signs. Okay, so that is our turn. We ready up. We draw a card. Desync. Suffer one mental trauma and add one telemark next to your memories, then exile this card. So I'm, I'm getting rid of this, so it won't come up in my deck anymore. So we have exiled that and take one mental trauma. And... Uh, 
we don't have anything to cancel that with but we'll get a resource and we have to remember to add the one tally mark to our memories later on but at least that's out of our deck so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom encounter card is Call of the Void. Search cannot be cancelled or ignored. Revelation. If there are three or more tally marks under impending doom in your camp log, uh, shuffle the set aside feaster of from a far enemy into the scanning deck. Then remove call from the void from the game. So uh, this basically just searches, and uh, we don't have any uh, tally marks on the impending doom yet. So this just searches. So. Uh, we'll get uh, Micrometeoroid. Test Agility 3. If you fail, you must either choose one Take 2 damage or discard an event in your hand. Uh, well, that is nasty. Nothing I can do. I don't have any skills to commit to this test, so I'm just testing 3 versus 3 and hoping for the best. And the skulls are Axis, the number of face down encounter cards. Uh, cultist axe is half the number of locations it played rounded down, so it's one. And tablet is a minus one, reveal another token if you fail. Put the top card of the encounter deck into play and it's face down in front of you. Okay, so three versus three. Zero, so we pass. So that's good, we don't take any damage at this point. Okay, well, um... I think I will just move over here. I'll do a basic investigation here. I won't use any uh, any cards. Uh, I want to save the that one for double clue location if there are any. Okay. Uh, skull is uh, zero, so we pass and get this clue. So we are able to scan again. So we should have shuffled this in between, so I'll do that now. Okay, and we are scanning for the triangle. It, it is here. Shred generators. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot I would have moved over here, so I actually have extra action now. Yeah, so uh, when you reveal a location, you move automatically there. So actually we saved an action there. Okay, so we get the shred generators, and it is connected to here, but not here. So we'll put that into play, move there, and then we get to draw a card, vicious blow. I think I'll just uh, use an action to draw another card. We don't have a free scan here, so we have an action here. Uh, investigator at this location cannot cancel or ignore cause effects or game effects. So, to add trigger ability, if you have four or more face down encounter cards in the threat area, throw one of them again two clues from the token back. Okay. So, I'm just drawing a card and I'm drawing a card. Terrible secret. secret. So, we don't have any cards underneath Diana. So, if there are no cards beneath Diana Stanley, shuffle Terrible Secrets back into your deck. Otherwise, for each card beneath Diana Stanley. Uh, you must either discard that card or take one horror cannot be cancelled. Okay, well, we really are hitting all the weaknesses. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. These things happen. Okay, well, lucky we haven't seen any enemies yet, so hoping to find, the, find a weapon. We have four weapons in the deck. Hopefully we draw one some point. Okay, I think that's enough shuffling. So, nothing to do but go to the upkeep. We ready up, draw a card. Six cents, that's great. Gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card for this round is Phantom Collapse. Draw its Face down and counter card in threat area one at a time. If no other counter cards were drawn by this effect, add quantum collapse to your threat area face down. And there's a force. After you draw quantum collapse from your threat area, take one horror. So that is in our threat area. 
Okay, well, I'll do the... F uh, I'll actually play Sixth Sense before we do anything. Uh, then I will scan and we are looking for the three circles, so it's this circle, so we get this. Old Wastes, uh, three shrouds, uh, one clue, as an additional cost to scan at Cold Waste, you must either choose one spend two resources or choose and discard two cards from your hand, so that is a annoying one. So this form a circle actually. But um it is what it is, so we shuffle these. Uh, second action, I will actually use Sixth Sense here and commit the Steadfast to the test. Uh, I'll gain uh, 3 willpower, so I have 3, 4, 5 willpower against 3. Elder Sign, so plus 2, if you, you may choose and carve any dynasty and add it to your hand, we don't have any there, so we just get the clue. And I will actually use the clues to advance immediately. Quantum shenanigans. You finally find the lone scientist on the asteroid. He introduces himself as Erwin Simmons, the lead quantum researcher at the facility. They stole the stabil stabilizing shards to Scaldist. He exclaimed explains the recent happenings. Without the shards, the whole asteroid quickly loses, lost itself in uncertainty. I, everyone else have evacuated, but I stayed behind to contain the anomaly. If there are three or more telemarks under impending doom, there isn't so otherwise. Despite the situation, he believes the facility can still be saved if you are able to help distribute the ma modified Q crystal shards across the asteroid. Put set aside Irving Simmons quantum physics story asset into play under any investigator's control. This story asset does not take up any ally slots for this scenario. Proceed to Act 2 a quantum Zeno and remove to Act 2 a destabilization from the game. So we remove the destabilization and this and we have quantum Zeno. To restore the equilibrium of matter and save the facility, you must help Irving install the Q shards across the asteroid. Only then will the instability collapse. And first, trigger spend one clue as a group, place a resource token on your location from the token pool. Okay, well, we get. Um, so we can put this one away. We are not using that one in this game. So we have Irvin Simmons, uh, scientist human ally. Uh, reaction when your turn begins. Put, put the top card of the encounter deck face down in your threat area. Fight, evade, investigate. If you fail, deal one damage to Irvin Simmons. So we basically, by taking an encounter card in front of us, get an extra fight, evade or investigate action. And forced when Erwin Simmons leaves play, draw all face down counter cards in front in your threat area. So uh, I'll keep Erwin here. And uh, that is that. We have still have one action uh, to scan here. Oh, yeah, I think we again forgot that uh, when we scan, we get a free move. So we have one more action this round. And we get to draw a card, which I forgot to do again. Another guard dog, not helpful now. Or, or get that resource, but I, I took the card already. Okay, well... Um, I really don't need this card now, and... Well, the Vicious Blow could be useful, so... I'll draw a card. Dragon Pole. Uh, okay, and I'll gain a resource. That is our turn. We draw a card, uh, draw onto the flame, and gain a resource. So that is that round. 
let's go to the next round. We add a doom so the agenda advances. Uncertainty principle. The basic property of quantum material can be summoned up as an elaboration of wave particle quality. You never truly know what you are dealing with until you know. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. In player order, each investigator places top card of the encounter deck into their threat area face down. If there is another agenda below this one, set it this aside out of play, otherwise add one talisman on the impending doom in your camber log and shuffle this agenda with each of set aside agenda from the new agenda deck. Okay, so we'll place that there. So we have the same front here and we have two more of these to go. Okay, and uh, we shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And deal one of these cards face down in front of us. So we have two, and now we don't know what that card is. Then uh, we draw an encounter card. It is Quantum Phantom. Two fight, one health, three evade, force. When Quantum Phantom is defeated by damage except from a spell or relic, instead of discarding, place it in the threat area face down. And it is engaged with us. So, okay, well, our first action is going to be to defeat this enemy. Uh, this is not a relic, so it doesn't help us. So I think I uh, still will scan. So uh, first action, I will scan here and I'll gain a resource after that. So I remember oh, not that one. So that I remember. So I'm using guard dog and don't think we need the drone to the flame. And this hits us. Uh, I will cancel the horror and take the damage and put it on guard dog, which will defeat this. So this goes in front of us as a face down counter card. But uh, we get a resource, we also get a card and a resource from Diana's ability. And then we finish up the scan. So we are searching for the X. So we find the X. Crystal Peak, freeze route, two clues. And we move there. We shuffle these. So this is only connected to cold wastes at the moment. And uh, I will play read the signs here. And my uh, investigate is 3 plus 1, 2, so 5 against three. It's another Elder sign. Okay, so we get these two clues, we get to put this underneath Diana. We could draw a card, but I like to get my willpower up for the sixth sense. So, oh yeah, we got these two clues. So, uh, I will do a fast action to place a resource here and last action i will hmm. 
I will move move uh, to the landing craft and do the same thing again. There's no limit how many times we can do this per turns. Oh yeah, we can't move the here, so I'll, I'll just move here and do it here. Or uh, I will I will do a scanning rather than the second one. Okay, so we scan here. And we have the, we shuffle these, so we have the uh, purple moon here. We find few crystal mines. Uh, force route two clues, and this is connected. Is it connected to anywhere else? No, I'll put it there. And I will lock this down with the other one. And that is our whole turn, so no enemies will go to upkeep, we draw Talisman of Protection and gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, I forgot to read what the location says, so when you enter the Q Crystal Mines, place the topmost card of your deck face down, or, or the encounter deck face down in front of you, so I do that now. So we add Doom. Encounter the card for this round is uh, Micrometeoroid. Test Agility 3. If you fail, you must either choose one, take two damage, or discard on each event in your hand. Now, I would really want to not fail this. Uh, well, we test uh, 3 versus 3. Minus three, so we fail. I'll take the two damage. Okay, well, mm, might as well investigate here. Well, first action, I will play the dragon pole, fumbling with the cards. So I have the dragon pole. It takes up two hand slots, and it has a plus one fight now. I need another. Arcane slot field to make it deal plus one damage, which I can do with the talisman of protection actually. Uh, okay, so we will investigate. I am investigating uh, four versus four. Hmm. Do I want to investigate or do I want to draw a card? I think I'll draw a card. Another dragon ball, that's useless. And I will draw another card. Well, that sucks. Unspeakable old cowardice. So we need to get rid of that so, so that we get some experience out of this. Well, that was a dot turn. I'm just checking, can I scan if there are no... There are cool. I'll just do the free scan. By the way, so uh, we are searching for the green diamond, and we have it up here. So ice fires force after you scan at this location, shuffle an empty location without the resource token on it back into this the scanning deck. And this loops around here. And we only have one location in play. And we probably don't want to scan there. So this actually loops back here. So I'll just, just do this. If I can find my <laughs> one way location connector. So this goes here. And like so. So we can go from here to here and... And there's one clue here. And we uh, get a card. Yeah, virtual access key. So that, that we can commit that at least. 
Well, uh, that is that round. No enemies. Loot of upkeep. We draw steadfast. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. And found the card for this round is. Cold Vacuum. Test combat 3. If you fail, you must either choose one discard a non story asset you control or choose and discard 3 cards from your hand. Well, um. I'll commit the steadfast to this test. So we are 6 versus 3. Zero, so we pass. And uh, first action is to investigate, and I'll commit the virtual access key to the sixth sense investigation test. So minus two, we get this clue, and uh, I'll immediately use it to lock this location down. And we know this is the last one, so we could go to the landing craft or this location or here to find it. Um, yeah, well, I'll move here and after, okay, we have to do this again. This is getting a bit risky, but it is what it is. So we'll scan here and we'll get the main facility. So Stradis acts access the number of connecting locations, and there are three. So three and Shroud of two. So it's getting a bit hard to mark this. So this is connected like so. And there's double action, choose an revealed location with no clues on it, place a resource token on that location, match once per game, so we are definitely doing that next round. And uh, what is the last? Okay, so uh, I'll do the same here, so we can move like so. So... This leads here, and this leads here, and this leads here, and this leads here, and I think that's the whole map set up correctly, with all the connect uh, connections done correctly. Mm, well, last action. I'll investigate here. Uh, we have uh, four against three. Okay, so using the sixth sense to investigate zero, we'll get a clue and we'll do the locking for this location again. Okay, and that is our whole turn. Oh yeah, we uh, drew a card from the scanning uh, promise of power. That's always useful. So we're ready up. We draw a card, dodge level 2, and we gain a resource, so let's check, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards in hand. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances. Observer effect. So, it doesn't take long for you to realize that there is no such thing as orientation in the place where anything can be simultaneously anywhere. Only the landmarks that you con consciously observe will remain in their position. Each investigator at a location without a resource token on it places the top card of the encounter deck into their threat area face down. Well, we have a token here. Shuffle all empty locations without enemies or investigators without a resource token on it to the scanning deck. If there is another agenda below this, uh, we do the same as before. Okay, so again, the same. So we have to shuffle 
this back into the scanning deck. I'll just leave the connections there. Okay. Well, uh, we get an encounter card. Yeah. And we get radioactive decay. Put this card into play in your threat area force. At the end of your turn, draw a face down card in your threat area if you cannot take one damage and one horror. Double action discard radioactive decay. Uh, well, uh, we probably don't want to do that this round. And uh, I don't know if this should be shuffled or something, but I know that this one does something bad. Okay, well. I'll do the double action to get rid of this, so we don't need to care about that. Investigate action, and I will commit... I'll commit the promise of power. So we add one curse token to the bag. Investigating four, five, six, seven, eight versus... Well, it's versus two now. Okay, well, we already added that, so minus two, we get that two. Uh, then we do the free scanning here, so we know that uh, we have. Uh, we need to find the red circle. Or the red, red square, I mean. So we get the shirt generators back here and move there. There are no clues here, so we'll just lock this down immediately. And we shuffle this, doesn't matter. And uh, we draw a card. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Defiance, that's good. So, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw Ward of Protection and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we can't cancel any effects here, so those cancellations are useless. So, I'll add a Doom, and the encounter card for this round is Call of the Void. Search cannot be cancelled or ignored. We just search this because it doesn't do anything else. Uh, paradox. Toxical threat, peril revelation, you must either place the top three cards of the encounter deck into your threat area face down, add one doom to the current agenda and draw three face down cards from your threat area. So I'll place the cards here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... Skulls are <laughs> minus X. Uh, which is 8 now. Okay, well. We could uh, draw one of our face down encounter cards and get two clues, but I think we're good. So, we will. Uh, we will scan. And we are scanning this uh, icon, so this is the top co card one, so cold waste. So as an additional cost to um, scan the cold waste, you must either choose one, spend two resources, or choose and discard two cards from your hand. And this was connected here. There's one clue. And we will gain a resource. We're good on cards. Then I will investigate and I will use the sixth sense. Uh, so we are committing. Do I need the talisman? I'm actually first action playing the talisman so that our dragon pole is better suited for fighting. 
and I will just investigate using the six cents. So I am five with the defiance, and I'm choosing the skull. And it is a skull, so we ignore the effects of the chosen symbol. So this goes here. We get a resource and a card, holy rosary, and we get this clue, which we will immediately use, like so. Uh, we will scan. And I will uh, discard two cards. So I don't need the dragon pole. I seem to not need the daring. No, I don't won't need the holy rosary. So we discard those two cards. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if I drew a card, but I don't need any more cards or resources at this point. So we are scanning, and this is the last location. And uh, two shot, one clue, last action, we will investigate here, and I'll just investigate five versus two. Minus four, so we fail, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go to up, upkeep, we draw another defiance, and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is Radioactive Decay, so it comes into play in our threat area, but I will cancel that with the uh, Ward of Protection. So that goes here. And we'll take a Horror. And we draw a card, Mind's Eye, and gain a resource. Well, we don't need the mine sign in this game, but unfortunately we have this uh, stupid unspeakable old cowardice in hand and no enemies. So I think we're stuck with that. So we will investigate committing this uh, mine sign and defiance to the test. We are uh, uh, 5, 6 versus 2. Skull, um, so it is a minus billion, so we fail. We'll investigate again. Oh yeah, we could have said the skull, so we set the skull <laughs> retrospectively. So we uh, get a card and a resource, and now we are maxed up. So we have five cards beneath Diana. And we get this clue, uh, which we will use immediately to lock this down. If there are 8 Elbrus locations in play and each location has a resource token, you may advance. Certainty. The purple glow of Elbrus subsides as you plant the final Q shard into the ground. The mad physicist is overjoyed and relieved. You have completely stabilized the quantum field. So we get resolution 2. Resolution 2. The physicist is more than grateful for your help. All this vital research. Thank God you came in time. If you ever need to get something done in the colonial territories, I'll make sure to put in my good word. With an, with an odd and an awkward handshake, you depart the facility and return to the Tatterdemalian. The cultists have stolen the quantum shards from Elbrus, but for what purpose you are still unsure. You look into the end ephemeral glow of the crystal shard Erwin has gifted you, wondering about the bizarre circumstances you have found yourself in. However, there is no time to waste on self-reflection. K2 PS1 Day 7 awaits your next heading. In your Campalog record, the Elbor station has been fully stabilized. Each investigator earns experience equal to victory acts value of each card in the victory display. Add one uh, Elder Thing token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign to cut for catching the eye of the king in yellow, add one tally mark under impending doom in your camp alone. Return to search for fragment on page 10. So next we need to choose uh, a second uh, scenario. So we are going to the trace 2, but I'll read that next time. So 
unfortunately we had the cowardice in hand so we get two fewer experience uh, we managed to get a one two three four so we get two experience from this scenario which is not a lot but it is at least something and we didn't have to resolve any of these so that's good but yeah that was lost quantum with diana stanley in the dark matter campaign uh, next time we are playing in the shadow of earth which is the 2b scenario uh, 3b scenario and uh, we will do some upgrades before that so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time